Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. He said sometimes they be changing the words in the Bible. They be changing like the Bible and stuff. Uh, give me, give me. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Um, hold that real quick. Give me Deuteronomy four and two. Like the King James version, they say this is a good one. Yeah. Now the King James version, it was just translated. King James never wrote it. That's a lot of miscommunication amongst us as black people. Sometimes people say, well, it says King James authorized version. He only authorized for it to be translated. And I'm gonna show you a prophecy that Jesus Christ said it would be translated. Because I don't know if you went over you yet. How we know we're the Israelites is because we've been um, scattered during slavery. We've had multiple slaveries in the Bible and the slavery we know about on slave ships, right? Now, when we were scattered, we started to learn another language. Like, we talk English right now, right? How you doing, my brother? We're going over who we are according to the Bible. So now, give me that Lord Drummy 4 and 2. So, to answer your question as far as um, people change things out of the Bible, let's see if you were supposed to. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4 and verse 2. Uh -huh. You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it. So, that was a law that said you wasn't supposed to add to the word. How they try to add to the word is they'll try to say that's what Christ looked like with no biblical proof. How they try to diminish from the word is like you said, they'll take scriptures out because you got um, ESV, you ever heard about that? And the NIV Bibles. If you ever looked it up, they're missing verses in the scriptures. You understand? Like uh, Matthew's 18, 11 is missing in that Bible for a reason. Because that's telling you that Christ came for the lost sheep. You understand? They got to take that out because when you read who Jesus Christ came for, let me get that, Matthew's 15, 24 it's gonna edify you to know that he didn't come for everybody that's one of the uh, another thing they teach they teach John 3 16 means he came for the whole world but Christ himself out of his own mouth who he came for the book of Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24 but he answered and said I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel so Christ out of his own mouth said I only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel that's why we got to know who is the lost sheep of the house of Israel you understand and 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 the law said that you wasn't supposed to take that out of the Bible and you wasn't supposed to add to it. We don't do that. We read the scriptures and give the sense like the scripture says you're supposed to do. You understand? So now let's go back to the image real quick. Revelation chapter 1 and um, start at verse 1 again. The book, of, the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So his depiction, revelations mean revealing. His depiction was given unto us as his servants because during slavery, we was taught the white man, right? And even now, if you look on your phone and type in Jesus, what color comes up? White. A white man, right? So if, they, if you could type it up and see a white man, you should be able to go on the Bible and see that image, right? But we're going to go in the Bible and prove that that's a lie and show my brother, like he said, they like to add and take things away, right? But guess what? God didn't allow them to take away his true word. No matter how much foolishness they want to push, they can't take away this word. Read that real quick now. Verse 14, the revelation of Jesus Christ. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So now you're hearing the hair on his head, just like the hair on my brother's head I'm looking at. It's woolly in texture, and it's white. You know you get older, you start to get white in your hair or gray in your beard, right? So the hair on his head was what? White like wool. The texture is wool. What kind of people got woolly hair? Old people? Woolly hair, the texture, wool. Black people. That's easy to understand, right? That's right. Now, does that, the false image, does it have woolly hair? 
Nah, it got long stringy here, right? So that's strike one so far. Come on. As white as snow. Then it says that woolly, that kinky, that curly hair, it was white as snow. The fake image, does it, is it white as snow? No. But the real image we got over there showing you what he's looking like so far. It's starting up like a black man, right? Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. The fake image, you'll never see his eyes that he got red in the whites of his eyes. Give me that in the prophecy. Now, in the Bible, remember it said you're not supposed to take away an ad, right? The Bible, God said when he came, his eyes was going to be red. We're going to read it. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. And it says his eyes is going to be red with wine. You ever know, you ever, did you know the first miracle Christ did? No? He turned water into wine. Check, check. Check, check. Yeah, he did a lot of miracles. But one of the first check miracles it. at a wedding feast, he turned water into wine. Because Christ drank wine in moderation. Yeah. One of our um, high holy days, the days we're supposed to keep is Passover. You drink wine. You understand? He just wasn't yeah. no drunkard. And that wine turned the, eye, the whites of his eyes red. He kept drinking, but he wasn't a drunkard. Um, give me Matthews real quick, uh, 1119. They accused him of being a wine bibber, but he wasn't. They was just trying to slander him, just like how they accuse us of being niggas, and we ain't no niggas. They accuse us of being criminals, we ain't no criminals. We just trying to get by. You understand? Matthew. The book of Matthew, oh. chapter 11 and verse 19. Uh -huh. The son of man came eating and drinking. He came what? Came eating and drinking. Because John the Baptist, he didn't actually drink wine. He, he took an oath of a Nazarite, but they said the son of man came what? Came eating and drinking. He was drinking wine, read. And they say, behold, a gluttonous and a wine. Wine bibber. You see what they accused him of? Being a wine bibber. Meaning what? They knew he drunk wine. They just trying to accuse him saying, bro, you turning up too much. He wasn't doing none of that. You understand? So now let's go back to the image. So now read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He had a black man's hair. He had a woolly afro. Come on. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So now his eyes is a flame of fire because his father said, when my son come, the whites of his eyes going to be red. He drunk wine in moderation and he all so what? Turn water into wine, right? Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. So now his feet is like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Green. Brass, brass. Like, um, y'all yeah, seen a penny before. Like what? Like brown. So his feet was like fine brass. This, now your feet usually match the rest of your body, right? Because I see, I see y'all legs or whatever. I was rocking shorts earlier. It, it, it matched the rest of the color of your skin. This guy looked like he could have feet like fine brass? Hell no. Nah. This brother looked like he got feet like fine brass, right? Oh yeah, because he got him on top. I'm talking about the false image down there. Nah, right? How, how, much, how, how dark was he, Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As if you burn it in a furnace. Gosh. Bro, we got summer right now in Florida. But we stay out here for all day long. We get dark as hell. So right now, you know if Christ is walking around, they'd be like, you know what, Christ? You're African-American. Because when they talk African-American, they be talking about us as black people. Yeah. African-American don't mean you black. You got white folks that come from Africa, and they got American citizenship. But they're not black folks. You understand? But the Bible is showing us which image is true. This image right here, according to the scriptures. So like you said, people be taken out of the Bible, but guess what? God left a record of his son that you can't deny. Jesus Christ is a black man. You understand? Keep reading. And his voice as the sound of many waters. He got a deep voice. Black brothers got a deep voice. That is a black man right there. But now I'm going to show you. Go to Jeremiah 28 and verse 64. I'm going to show you why we learned this and not this. Because y'all heard about slavery, right? Yeah. Every February in our schools, they teach us about slavery and slave ships and all these atrocities. We had yokes of iron around our neck. We were sold on the um, plantation. Children taken away, husband taken away. You got brothers being sold for prime athletes, just like the NFL right now, right? Now, we're going to read a curse that it said it was going to happen to our people. This is how we know we're the Israelites, you understand? According to the prophecy in the Bible. So now let's read that. Deuteronomy 28 and 64. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 64. Come on. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Uh-huh. From one end of the earth, even unto the other. Uh-huh. And there thou shalt serve other gods. And there you're going to serve what? 
there thou shalt serve other gods. So when we was being scattered through all them slave ships, right, from America to Europe, you name it, we were scattered, and wherever we got off those slave ships, we learned another god. That's where we learned this. Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Our forefathers, Moses was a black man. He, he'd be flipping right now if somebody told him Christ was what? Was white. Our ancestors never knew about no white god. We always had our god in our image. You understand? Read. Even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. I want you to check this out real quick. Where is it at? When, when the white man came over here was conquering America. You see what he got in his hand? A cross. A, a cross. What is that made out of? Wood. Wood. They was pushing Christianity. They had a Bible in their hand and a sword in the other. Then they brought these are Jesuit priests, and they was about to. What they about to do to this guy right here? Kill him. They about to kill him. Why you think they about to kill him? Jesus. Because he what? Because of religion. Right. So they about to kill him because he's not accepting what? He's not accepting the wood, the cross, Christianity. What comes with the cross is this guy. They're not accepting no white God. Give me that Revelations real quick. 13, 15. I'm going to show you. All of this stuff is written in the Bible that we're going through right now. Nowadays, if you say you're not worshiping this image, people look at you bad. I guarantee you, if you go around and show people that Christ is black, you know what they're going to tell you? Color don't matter. But if it don't matter, bro, why are you giving a fake image? Because the same Bible says thou shalt not lie, right? And what is that? That's a lie. That's a lie. The cross, Christianity, that's all a lie to oppress us. That keeps us mentally enslaved because guess what? We never look at each other as brothers because we can't see Christ in each other. We see in this. You understand? Read that real quick. The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 15. Uh -huh. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. So now when that white man came and conquered us, right? Like, like right now. Who runs the earth? White men. White men run the earth. In every nation you go in, right? Black man is not running nothing over here. Even in Africa, we're not running nothing over there. You understand? Read it again. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. So that conqueror, he had power. See that sword in his hand, he got him tied up? Even right here. That's the power he had to give life to the image of that. That's the beast. He had power to force that on you. He had power to teach it. Because during slavery, we could barely teach each other. We had to hide and teach each other. You understand? Read. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So now it says he got power for the image to speak. Like I said to you, when you look on your phone, look at any movie that got Christ in it. He's depicted as a white man. That's the power he got because how many times you seen a black Christ in a movie? Rarely. Rarely. And even if you, you, I've seen one or two and nobody knows about them. I guarantee you, it's not a mainstream media nowhere. The power that he got to give life to the image of the beast is through his media. Right now, if you look, um, they got an interview with a brother. He came on CNN. He said Christ is black. You know what the white woman said? Uh, n no, he's Middle Eastern. <laughs> Middle Eastern, bro, that's a new term. A white man invented that term. They don't want to admit that he black. It's as simple as that. You even got a church right now in Europe. They said to help Black Lives Matter, they're going to paint Christ as black. But the Bible said he was already black. How are you going to paint him as something he already is? Read it again. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. He gave the life of our Messiah, black man, to this guy. Read. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many. Hold on. So it says the image of the beast should speak. That goes into your movies, right? Like I said to you, you Google or look on any um, internet, right? You're going to see this guy speaking. You ever heard of Passion of the Christ? It's a white man movie. It's called Passion of the Christ. Mel Gibson made it. It's a white man on it. But that's what the Bible's talking about. He got power for this to speak. Because this painting can't speak. You understand? But he gets a white man to look like Caesar Bo and then takes on that guy's image. It's a stolen identity. You understand? Read. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. You see that? So now, look at your ancestors, the Native American. He don't look like he want to worship that, do he? And what he about to do to him? 
he about to kill him. That was forced on us. So now go back to the curse. This is what the curse is showing you. This is how we know the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're the Israelites. We're the ones that suffered under that curse. You understand? A white man wasn't forced a white God because he already put himself as a God. Read that. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people uh -huh. from the one end of the earth even unto the other. So once we got scattered during slavery and dropped off those slave ships, read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. And there, wherever you got dropped off, now you're serving another god. You're serving this guy that tells you God loves everybody. He said Christ came for everybody. We already read Christ said I only came for you. Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Our forefathers never pushed that garbage. We never believed that garbage. Read. Even wood and stone. Wood and stone. Wood, Christianity. You know what the stone is? Islam. Because those are the two biggest religions on the face of this planet's earth. You ever heard of um, Martin Luther King, right? He pushed Christianity. Wood. Malcolm X, right? He pushed what? Islam. Stone. Because part of worshiping Islam is doing your Hajj, going to Mecca, walking around a cobblestone. You understand? Give me Leviticus 26 and 1 real quick. Leviticus chapter 26 verse 1. This is why we come out to teach our people the Bible because I guarantee you never heard this in no church. Y'all been to church before? You ever heard this in the church? And bro, we reading the same Bible they got, bro. They got the same KJV Bible, bro, sitting up in the pulpit. But instead he's saying, ah, God loves everybody. Ah, give me your tithes and offering. That's garbage. Bro, you know tithes and offering is an Old Testament law that was supposed to go to Levites, black people? It ain't supposed to go to him. But then he, go, he ain't teaching you God, the rest of God's laws. He not even teaching you who you are in the Bible. Because if I ask you what's your nationality, what would you say? You say Haitian, right? What you say? Haitian, right? Haitian is not in the Bible. God calls you Levi. It means join to me. Moses, Levi. John the Baptist, like he's going over with you, Levi. That, that's, your, that's, that's your ancestors. That's a proud heritage. And the Levites was black people. You understand? Read that law real quick. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26 and verse 1. So this is going to show you that we're not supposed to be bound down to no stones. We're not supposed to be in Islam. Read. You shall make you no idols, uh -huh. nor graven any images. Uh -huh. Neither rear you up a standing image. Uh -huh. Neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land. Any image of what? Any image of stone in your land. So we shouldn't even be worshiping no image of stone. So Islam is not our, it's not a black man's religion, bro. That is a white man's religion forced on us. Christianity, white man religion forced on us. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.